Hey guys, Dan here, aka Wolf, and we're going to show you how to score the Grin and Barret achievement by surviving 18 bear attacks. Though the first thing we want to point out is what the achievement should say is survive 18 grizzly bear attacks and kill the bear while still on your back, as this is actually how the achievement is scored. The first thing you should know if you don't already is that this achievement works only with grizzly bears. Try as you might, black bears will only run from you. The best weapon for killing the bear on your back is a double barrel shotgun, but any shotgun will do the job. You can accomplish this successfully with the repeater, but you risk not completing the kill on your back. If Arthur has to stand to finish the bear off, it will not count towards your 18 kills. Be warned that if you have the shotgun and the repeater on your back, Arthur will draw the repeater in the last stage of the bear attack, so the best way to guarantee that you draw the shotgun is to only have shotguns on your back, or only equip one shotgun and leave the other slot empty. If you have no long guns on your back, Arthur will draw his primary pistol. While I am proud to say I put a grizzly down with the volcanic pistol, bringing the double barrel shotgun is your safest bet. I would avoid trying to soften the bear up prior to the attack as you risk killing him. Here I accidentally kill the grizzly with pistol fire, and here I accidentally kill the big guy with one double barrel shotgun blast to the shoulder, demonstrating just how powerful this weapon is. Simply let the bear knock you down, spam the break free button, which will make Arthur repeatedly stab the bear, and then draw and fire your shotgun to finish the bear off with Arthur still on his back. Do not stand near trees when the bear falls upon you as this can interfere with the attack animations and cause it to stop prematurely so that you have to kill the bear standing up. Or, it can prolong the mauling animations by causing them to reset and inflict more damage on Arthur than normal. The best place i found for encountering a high frequency of grizzly bears is the Little Creek River Valley in the following locations. This bear location in particular was a hot spot for reoccurring spawns within the same day, though it is patrolled by a wolf pack. You'll want to make sure you have the semi-auto shotgun for getting rid of the wolves fast, because a lot of times they will set on you with a bear close by. If you don't have the semi-auto shotgun, I cover where to find it in the link above. Be warned that every once in a while the bear can and will insta-kill Arthur in one swipe. That being said, in the 22 bear maulings I've put Arthur through, this only happened twice. I was running towards the bear at full sprint in one of them, and in the other the bear ran a longer than normal distance before he got to me. So these may be factors in the one hit equation. I cannot express how important this is, but every time you survive a bear mauling and kill the bear, make sure you save your game. The bear corpses do last a long time, but they have absolutely zero impact on interfering with bear spawns. Bears will still spawn at locations regardless of grizzly bear corpses being in the same area. Additionally, you are guaranteed one grizzly bear at the Rider's Cabin in Vetter's Echo the first time you visit, though grizzly bears will not respawn here on subsequent visits. You will also want to be mindful of NPC hunters in the area, because one of them interfered with my bear attack in the following way. I made sure to show him what I thought of his meddling. We hope these tips help you score the Grin and Barrett achievement and we wish you the best of luck in your hunt.